Hi, my name is Hilary Stupa and I'm a developer with Qdabra Software. Today I'm going to walk through admin approving an InfoPath form template in Central Admin and activating it to site collections for use in child sites in SharePoint. So here's my form. It's pretty simple and I've already saved it locally. First I need to publish it in order to be able to indicate that this is going to be an admin approved template. From the file menu we go to publish and I'm going to publish to a SharePoint server. So first we enter the URL of our SharePoint server and then we click Next. In this screen we'll select Administrator Approved Form Template and we'll click Next. Now here's where things start to get a little bit interesting. We need to specify a location for our form template. This can be a network share location, for example, if your SharePoint administrator has a specific network place they would like for you to save your template file for them to easily access and upload it. It can be um, a local location and then you can actually copy the form template over to a place you can access it from Central Admin. The, the point is that it's being saved as a file on a hard drive someplace. Now in SharePoint 2007, if I recall correctly, uh, we actually had to make sure that we uploaded the file to Central Admin from the same path that it had been admin approved to. So this file location either had to be someplace you could access from Central Admin directly or um, we also sometimes created folders on our SharePoint server and copied it into something that would have the same path. At this point though in SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint 2013 I usually just pick a local location and if I can't access uh, central admin from my machine I just copy the file from the location that I saved to and put it on the desktop or really any place on my central admin server. So it's become less important this, this path. However, like I said, check with your SharePoint admin. They may have a specific place they would like for you to save this to for them to upload. So I'm just going to enter a local path and click Next. If I want to promote any properties, I can do that here. I'm not going to. And click Next. And finally click Publish. And so in this final screen, it, you can see we've got an indication of where our form template has been saved. Um, again, that could be a network path if your SharePoint admin has a specific place they'd like to access these from for upload. Uh, we're just going to copy this to the server desktop. So for us, it doesn't really matter where I chose to publish it to. It's just I need to be able to find it. So I've gone ahead and remoted onto the server and opened central admin there. The template file that I published to my local network location, I just copied it over to the desktop here. I can't actually reach this particular central admin site from my machine. But if you are a SharePoint admin and you can reach your uh, central admin site from your local machine, you don't need to remote desktop on. The important thing is go to wherever you go to open central admin and make sure you've copied the published copy of that template file to where you can reach it from central admin. Admin. So just ignore my critical health issues and we'll go to general application settings. From general application settings we want to upload a form template. So we'll click upload form template and from here we can browse to the template that I copied over. It's this one right here and I'll select open now, if you like, you can click Verify here to see if your template is going to be valid. However, when you click Upload, what will happen is the template will be checked at that point. So the Verify step I don't usually take because it's integrated when I upload it. Um, and after I click Verify, what usually happens is SharePoint helpfully clears out this file path for me and I have to browse for my template again. And I am kind of a person with not much time and not much patience. So I I skip that step and just click upload. If the form does not pass verification, it will not upload. So there's no real benefit in my mind to clicking the verify button. 
our form template is little, it's tiny, he doesn't have a ton of custom code, it took him no time, and he's been uploaded. So, now from here, we have some choices. Now, obviously, I've got admin access to this SharePoint site, because I'm here in Central Admin. So, I am going to activate this template here from Central Admin, and then we're also going to look at how to activate from a site collection as a site collection admin. So let's activate this to a site collection. And I don't want this one. I'm going to change it. And we'll hit here and change web application. It's as if we don't get enough clicking. So I'm going to select this one, which is the one that I initially had published as of two. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So now my form template is being activated to my site collection. What that means is that at that site collection level and for child sites of that site collection, I can set up a form library now that uses this particular template. Okay, so this is the site collection, TSHP 2010, that I activated my form to in Central Admin. So if we go to a form library here, I'm just going to pick um, this one. And we look in the library settings. This form library has already been set up to use content types, and that's what we need to do. We need to make sure our form library is set up to use content types, and then we need to add our newly activated form as a content type to this library. Now, if your form library is not set up to use content types, that is a setting you find under Advanced Settings. And you can see we've got Allow Management of Content Types set to Yes to add our new content type to this particular library. It's just simply click on Add from Existing. And here is our new form. We add it, we say OK. And now our library is set up to also use this content type. And if we go to Documents and try this drop down, here's our form. So again, this was on the site that we originally activated the form template to when we uploaded it to Central Admin. Next, let's look at activating it to a different site collection. So we have this template, it's been uh, admin approved, and I'm a site collection administrator and I have this site collection. You can see the URL here is different from the one we were working with. And I would like to also use that template here on my site collection and its child sites. So the first thing I do is I go to Site Actions, Site Settings. Now, if I am not a site collection administrator, I will not see this. If I am not on the root level of the site collection, I will instead see a little link that directs me back up to the correct location for this stuff. Where I want to go next is site collection features. Click here and as you can see, here is our template. It's got the same name. It mentions that it's an, an InfoPath form template, and it's not currently active to our activated to our site collection. So we just simply click the Activate button. Once we've activated the feature, we can go ahead and use it. I think this library might already be set up to use content types. We have to hope, given that name, right? But you know how it is with test sites. They can get a little nutty. So this is not set up to use content types. We'll go ahead and change it. We'll allow content types. We'll say OK. And we will add from existing site content types. Now remember, looking at this URL, this is not the site collection that we originally um, activated the template to, but we activated it here and as you can see it is now available to us. We can add this as a content type. Okay, so one last thing to look at and that is a child site. So this is a child site. It is in the same site collection as we originally activated our template to. 
if we look at the site settings here you'll see under site collection administration now I've got a link to go to the top level so um, there's that link to guide me back up where I need to be but I can't actually activate features at this level we're gonna add a new library and set it up to use our form template so here's my new library in my child site to the site collection where my form template has been admin approved and activated. I already went ahead and set this up to use content types because I figured we've all looked at that page often enough that you don't need to see it again. And I'm going to add from existing site content types. And once again, here is my form. So to sum up, if you admin approve a form template, you can then make it available to all of your different site collections. You can activate it either from central admin or if you are a site collection administrator, you can activate it from the site collection itself. Once a form template has been activated to a site collection, you can make it available as a content type to any site in that site collection, including child sites. I hope this has been helpful. Um, Again, all of this was done in InfoPath 2013 and SharePoint 2010. The steps in SharePoint 2013 are similar. The menus are a little different if you've tried SharePoint 2013. Um, and the steps in InfoPath in earlier versions are also the same. So happy template building and admin approving. Um, here's some additional information on Qdabra. Please let us know if you need any help with anything. Have a great day.